Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Nick Rider Tips. Today we're going to be going over some of the driver assist features in the Honda 2022 Civic and how you can turn some of those off because sometimes you don't want your car beeping at you all the time or driving for you or things like that. So at first we're going to start with some of the features that are just push buttons because those are the easiest because those are the easiest to get to. So first of all, you've got um, your parking assist which is down here and it's just a push button on the bottom this is the one that will tell you okay you're close to a curb or you're close to a fence and beep at you if you're backing up or pulling up near something green is on obviously not green is off and that is how you stop that the other driver assist feature that's a push button is the lane keep assist which is this button here so you press that it just turns on on the dashboard and if you press it again, it turns off. And the lane keep assist is different than the lane departure warning. The lane keep assist keeps your car in the middle of the lane and it's pretty good. Like you could let go of the wheel and it can navigate some pretty extreme turns. And, but if you, but if you take your hand off the wheel for long enough, it will actually warn you, it will say steering required. And if you continue to ignore the warning, the car will just turn off the cruise control and turn off the lane keep assist and then God's in control I guess if you drift into a guardrail that's that <laughs> um, so some of the other features such as the crash warning and things like that you can change some of the settings in the front panel so let's take a look at that real quick so in vehicle settings under driver assist system setup you've got the forward collision warning distance and you've got long normal or short and there's no off here and likewise, um, under the road departure mitigation setting, which will alert you if you're leaving the lane, there's narrow, normal, wide, or warning. But there's no off for this, for either of these. And that's in the screen. However, this screen is not accessible when you're actually driving. So you may want to adjust some of these settings when you're driving. So if you go into your front panel here, you can use the click wheel here. There's one way to get to it and you would go to safety support and press this in and you get to this menu here that has four things you, that you can toggle. The other way to get to this menu, if you want a shortcut, is you just go down here and you hit this button and it pops right up. Now the door open alert will actually override uh, the screen, but under normal circumstances, you just press that button, you pop right in here and you've got four options here. The road departure mitigation, which was the setting we looked at over here, but instead of wide, narrow, or warning, you can just turn it off. So you turn it off here. The blind spot information system, you also can just turn off. So that's, and these all work while you're driving. The low speed braking control. So that is like if you're in a parking lot, I guess, and there's a kid in front of you and you're going very slowly, it will brake for you under low speeds. Just like everything else, you can turn that off. And the collision mitigation braking system is in here too. Is that different than the collision mitigation warning system? I'm not sure, and I'll show you why in a second. And you can turn this one off. Now this one's a little bit unique. You can't turn this off while you're driving, but you can turn it off when you're like at a red light. You don't even have to be in the gear of park. You can just shut it off um, as long as the car's not moving. So now that is off. Now all four of them are off. And there is one caveat to this. The bottom two, the low speed braking and the collision mitigation braking do turn back on if you turn the car off and on again. So every time you turn the car off and on again, you would have to toggle these, unfortunately. Now, with all of them off, if I go back into this menu and now I look at the forward collision warning distance, it's actually showing no setting and then if i hit this setting it says cmbs must be on to change this setting so it almost implies that the fact that you can't change the setting for the warning distance because the braking system is off it means that the warning system is also off i haven't gone full speed in another car to see what happens in this scenario so i'm not actually sure but it would be nice if it turned them both off at the same time. Again, we want to be able to turn these things off in our car, even if they are, are helpful to some people. So now, <laughs> I just wanted to show one more thing. I think I found a bug 
in the system. So now, while we're still in the menu, if we go back into the um, settings here, and I try to turn one of these on, it just says setting incomplete. This is an, a strange error and I can't do it. I can't toggle any of these while I'm in the menu. If I go out of the menu, boop, then I can toggle all these again. All right. So that is how you turn off or on the driver assist features in the 2022 Honda Civic. Thanks for watching. Head over to newswithnick.com for more great content.